Well, well. Hey, you. Hey, it's you. Yes, Frank. It's me, Jax. I heard they shot you down. That you were dead. Apparently, that was wrong. But if you're here, does that mean you're a separatist now? Will you stay here and support our cause? I'm sure you would be very welcome. What cause? We've broken free from Zaykor, from being slaves to Elix. And we've worked, persuaded people to allow us into the city. And now we're here, we are working to be allowed to stay. Would you be willing to help us? I will give you my support. Good. We have to stick together. People blame us for this war, even though we left Zaykor to escape it. They will doubt us until the day peace begins. I mean, they don't even trust each other. Among all these warring people, all these different agendas, we, you and I, share a similar destiny. It's the only way anyone will survive. It seems like you're tolerated here in the city. That is exactly what we are. Tolerated. We are still a long way from being accepted. Well, I for one don't trust you as far as I can throw you. You aren't alone in that view. This city is a place of freedom, but all the old suspicions remain. The outlaws claim they are being oppressed. The clerics say they are neutral, but they aren't. The berserkers? They don't seem to know what they're doing, apart from avoiding their laws. We, we are trying to discover who we are. I think people see that, that we are all here for a new start. Do you need help? It is good that you offer to help us. The berserkers are already trying to get us thrown out of the city. We need the protection offered by this place. We won't survive without it. We've persuaded people here that we are worth a chance. But there will always be those who won't see it that way. And the Albs and Zaykor want us dead. If we're to stay, we need someone to get to Caleb and York. They are key to our future. About the threat of you being thrown out of the city. What is the problem with Caleb and York? York is a berserker. He's accused us of spying for the Alps and Zaykor. He claims he saw us handing over information about the shield generators. It's completely illogical. We are the ones with the most to lose if Zaykor captures this city. But the free people are prisoners to emotion. It makes them doubt logic. They have already thrown one of our group out of the city. Now they are threatening the rest of us with the same fate. We are no friends of the Albs and Zaykor. They would see us dead. We want this to be our home now. We need the free people to understand this. I will help you. Good. That is the response I wanted. It is best if you go straight to York. Caleb is already attempting further arguments to ensure our expulsion. But it is York's statement that has put us in danger. That lie underpins Caleb's argument against us. If people believe we are working with the enemy, we will be exiled from the city and left to die. But if Jorg confesses his lie, then Caleb would no longer have the proof he claims. They would have no reason to expel us. What goods have you got? Don't mess me around. <clears throat> Why are you torturing yourself over that? Stop being an asshole. What a waste of time, wasn't it? Fucking hell. It'll cost all of us. Why are you torturing yourself over that?
Someone's gotta sort this shit out before we drown in it. Well, well. Are you here to pay me those charges? What do you want from me? To drive me off? Or maybe even have me killed? You don't scare me. Your people are a plague upon this land. Although, there is something different about you. Do you usually spend time with people like us? I was an Alb myself once. Yes. You stopped taking Elix. That is rare. Which makes me question how you did it. May logic guide you. saw you. You saw me what? I saw how you came through into the dome. Who are you? Why were you allowed in? I was an alb once. Fuck. What is this, an invasion? Can't you all just go back to Zaycor? What do you have to keep coming here for? Well, you'll find more of your kind back there in the city. But you can go and do whatever it is you albs do together. But don't get used to it. None of you will be staying long. But before you go, you better tell me what you want here, Alb. Who are you? Caleb. I lead the Berserkers who've chosen to settle here in Abessa. You are separate from the Berserkers in Udan? We have kept our beliefs, but left behind the laws. We have set our own rules here. Well, none of us are allowed to return to Edan now or we just end up being sent to the valley. As to why they came here, well, the first settlers were sent to Abessa to plant a world heart to expand the forest of Edan out here. But they were cut off from Edan by the Alps, left on their own to survive. And after a while, they decided to keep it that way. The warlords in Goliath weren't happy. But they're stretched too thin for another conflict, so here we are. And since they settled here, others have joined us. Some are escaped exiles, Others just chose to leave Edan. What do you have against the Separatists? We came here for peace, to escape the war. How long will that last if more Alps keep coming here? Zaykor has left us alone recently. You think they will if they know all their escapees are coming here? Edan? Ignadon? Fuck it, even Tavar. At some point, if they learn that Alps are sheltering here, then they might attack us even if Zaykor doesn't. And you can tell me whatever you want about us having the same goals, or the same enemy. But you really expect me to believe you Albs are going to choose us over other Albs? I don't care that people vote to let you in. If it was up to me, we would be better off if you lot were thrown out of the city. You want to have all the Separatists thrown out of the city? Yeah. And you know what? I have already started to make it happen. It's easy to find ways to show you people have broken the rules of our agreement. But hey, I have a way you can avoid the same fate. You could do as a service here. You could prove your humanity. Are you prepared to do that? Do you think you're even able? What do you want from me? I need help with the Alves. We have an eyewitness who claims to have seen the Separatists exchanging information with the Alves. Traitorous bastards. 
Who is this eyewitness? The Berserker Yorg saw Fenk meet with an Alb in front of the city. Why would they meet if it wasn't to exchange information about the dome? Sadly, Yorg is the only one who's seen Fenk. And now he started saying he isn't sure he really saw Fenk meet an Alb from Zaycor. So I have to jog Yorg's memory. Or make sure he stops denying what he said. There has to be a way to do that. You don't think that Yorg could have been wrong in the first place? No, never. You can't trust these Separatists. They'll betray us sooner or later for sure. I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. Hey, you're new here in the city, right? Yes, I've just arrived. I thought so. I saw you come through the gate, you see? Anyway, I want to ask you something, if that's all right. Have you been to Idan recently? To the Berserker's city of Goliath, to be exact. A good friend of mine is still there. Who is your friend? His name is Kral. He's a guard at the Mana Shrine. At least, he was when I left. He thought he still had a chance to save his brother, Grimar, from the Alb Converter. Do you know what happened to him? Kral is dead. No. Shit. Maybe if I'd stayed... You know, I was even planning how I could get to Goliath to see if I could get him out of there. I had this feeling something bad would happen to him. First his brother, and then him. A curse on all of Idan. And thanks anyways. Tell me about your life in Idan. Me? I was a worker at the pit. You know, I extracted Elix from old machines so it could be transmuted into mana. I always wanted to join the Hooded Crows and learn the art of magic, but it wasn't to be. My parents forbade me from trying. My clan told me to stop trying. Not that any of that stopped me. And that's what got me banished. I stole mana from the shrine to try and learn magic myself. And I got myself caught. They sentenced me to exile in the Valley of the Damned, but I escaped. I'd seen the Dome City when I was sent on patrol, so when I left Idan, this was the place I thought of. And here I am. I would like to learn Berserker magic. Well, it's pointless asking me. I didn't manage to learn anything useful before I was exiled. You would have to join the Berserkers. They won't teach their magic to outsiders. But I don't know if I can recommend that in all good conscience. I left, after all. You will have to decide who you want to join. I'm watching you. What are you doing here? Those ruins are still full of useful things, if you look in the right places. As he wishes. He should do it. Talk, that's all he is. Frankly, these should be showing more respect. 
They say that, but you know they collect Elix for themselves. You can forget it. I call that dangerous half. I serve everyone here. Save He's been bothering me with that for days now. And some pain by doing what I say. Let those assholes that has to happen piss from the later. gutters, and you keep your supplies for the real people. They say that, but what you, you know they collect Elix for themselves. I still serve you. Even it is all about serious about personal dedication. So you are taking their side, are you? I'm on you don't know that either, side. whatever you say. I'm just getting on with my job. Frankly, you these should be showing more respect. Consider this. There's no one near enough Felix out there for that. One wrong word and the clerics will throw you out that of has to seat. happen sooner or later. So do us both a favor and calm the hell down. Do you this believe that? Over. Really believe it? I will come back. So that didn't work. When you do, make sure you bring some shards. There's so no one near enough credit. Felix out there for change, that. All right? It is all about serious personal hey, dedication to the law. Is your throat dry? Are your feet aching? Whatever your problem, I have what you need. One good swig will cure all worries. And that's guaranteed. Do you have any news to go with that drink? News? I presume you're talking about news from in here. I don't hear anything much from the outside now the city gates are sealed. Now the future of the Dome City is the only topic people are concerned about right now. That's pretty much all of the conversation. There's been peace in here for years, but right now, well, we're all set for things to boil over. I don't want to say it's the cleric's fault. It's always easy to blame the people in charge, isn't it? But who else do we blame? The berserkers, the outlaws, the separatists? Me? I find it best not to blame anyone. How is business? Now that everyone is paying credit? Roaring. <laughs> not many people aren't happy to pay on credit. It's me that's holding the bill and hoping to get paid before I run out of supplies. Uh, speaking of which, do you know where I can get any food supplies? I'll pay real shards to get more food supplies in. Most people try to earn a profit in your situation, huh? Try, yeah. Achieving is something different. I'd rather you get the supplies honestly, but... If you take them from people who have too much, who am I to question it? But if you steal from those with nothing, then I don't want anything from you. I like to keep things honest. I heard about your fight with Brabeck. Ah, forget that guy. Every city has someone like him. You just have to ignore them. Let me know if I can do something for you. Do you want to trade? Talk. That's all he is. We'll never find out, will we?
Hey, you. Let me guess. I'm not allowed into the upper quarter? What? No, everyone's allowed to move about freely here. I just have a question for you. You got here recently, right? I just want to know what things are like outside the dome. What's going on out there? Are the Alps attacking? There are raids, but there have been no major assaults recently. I'm sure that's just the calm before the storm. I just hope the dome holds. There's a lot of people depending on this dome of mine. So they pass us by like a river around a rock. Kalan gave us the knowledge, and now look what we've achieved. A safe harbor for all people. The clerics and Ignodons say we've strayed. I say we've found the true path. You built the dome? I designed the plans for it. Then we built it together. My name is Eric, by the way. Chief engineer here in the dome. I'm in charge of all the generators and technicians who oversee them. Why don't the clerics have a dome like this in Ignaton? The dome requires immense amounts of energy, and the fluctuations in it have to be constantly balanced. The technology is complex. That means there's no way to cover the Hort with a shield like this. Besides, the cliffs around Hort give it a natural protection. Can this dome survive an Albatech? Of course. Why do you think we built it? As long as we can maintain a constant energy flow, then they can't get in. Unfortunately, achieving that isn't so easy. Some of the energy regulators are starting to malfunction again. I can repair the energy regulators for you. Thanks for the offer, but that's not necessary. I've already repaired the components. They just haven't all been installed yet. About the broken energy regulators. What will happen if they aren't repaired? If just one regulator fails, it could mean an emergency shutdown for the dome. Otherwise, the discharge it would create could kill a whole lot of the people the shield is supposed to be protecting. But whether it's a discharge or an emergency shutdown, both scenarios would see us defenseless. How many energy regulators are broken? Well, all of them. I've sorted replacements where I can. But Lutz hasn't received his yet. I will help you with the energy regulators. I wanted to do it myself, but do you really think you could handle it? So, let's find out who you are. You should go to Ignadon one day. You could be a good cleric. Yeah, I know, I left Ignadon behind, but they could offer you better training than I could. I have the energy regulator here. Please, take it to Lutz and help him to install it. Come back to me when you're done. Am I crazy, or is our generator power flux? You still don't get it, do you? What is it you want? Who are you? You first. Come on. Who are you? There is something that is familiar about you, but I can't quite place it. No matter, I suppose. All people are welcome in Avesa, as long as they are prepared to forget their past. Even Albs are allowed in here. I think Albs would be perfect people if they weren't so emotionless. But then, that is why they are the only faction I have never belonged to. How did you end up with the clerics? That's a long story. If you're really interested in my tale, then I will tell you, of course. Sure, let's hear it. I'd like to hear it. You want to tell me over drinks sometime, or tell us here? Tell me your story. How did you end up joining the clerics? Right. I'll give you the full version. Well, the short version of the full version. Just get on with it. Okay. I'll try to keep it short. So, I grew up in Goliath in the den. My father and mother were both born berserkers, and so that meant I was too. 
Back then, Ajar ruled over Gaulet. As a child, I had no interest in the laws, of course. But when I was about 12 years old, one of the warlords came to our home. He took my parents, and I was left on my own to survive in the city. I remember him. I remember my parents leaving. And I remember me screaming. But everything else is gone. It's just a blur. What happened to your parents? Well, what else? They were exiled. Nobody ever told me why they were exiled. I still don't know what they did, even today. I hate the Berserker laws. Nothing against the Berserkers. They're just people. It's the laws I hate. I think what the Berserkers want to do with Magalan is right. But I can never forgive them for what they did to my parents. Why was I punished for whatever my parents did? Why wasn't I told what had happened? I swore never to return, and I haven't set foot in the barn again. Where did you go? Wherever I needed to, to survive. That meant running from reavers and wild animals. It didn't take long for some reavers to take me captive. And then... I don't want to talk about that. I was lucky, though. After several years, the reavers were attacked by some of the Duke's outlaws, and they took me back to Tavar. I learned how to fight. How to live off scrap. Life wasn't much different from Dan, but there wasn't the same raptor shit. The laws. You could be who you were, and no one judged you. Then why didn't you remain with the outlaws? Because the reavers who'd taken me captive came to the fort and wanted to speak to the Duke. I think they wanted to take me back. I fled when they saw me. I didn't want to be taken back, or for them to kill me to hide their crime. When I left the fort, I ran into a cleric patrol. They convinced me to go to the fort with them. Not that I really needed that much convincing. All those hours taking scrap apart and putting it back together in Tavar really paid off there. The clerics recognized that I was good with technology. So, I've been working on mechs and AI systems since then. Building things. Trusted. Part of a team. And it's easier being with mechs. They don't judge anyone. They treat everyone the same. Like this place. I know it's not perfect, but outlaws, berserkers, clerics, even elves are seen as people. At least that's the vision. Not always the way it happens. That's another reason to maintain these mechs. To protect what we have here. Well, I hope you find your place in the world. It's good when you do. That's it. I'm going. Okay. He didn't deserve that. Curiosity can get you killed. You have a few more s- It's about time. What? Who's there? It's about time. You had better get out of here. Don't do this I said, again. Just get out of here.
Just a moment, I have to concentrate. 43 degrees eastwards at a distance of five kilometers. Maybe I could adjust the receiver's sensitivity to... No, no. Although, uh... Mm. Should I come back later? No, no. I've already lost my train of thought. I suppose I will have to just get used to continuous interruptions here. But... Crap, crap. I don't suppose you can remember what I said. How many degrees was it? Forty-three degrees, eastwards. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Thank you for reminding me. I assume you are in charge of communications? You are just a good listener. You're good at observation, too. Yes, I am responsible for communications. Though the condition of this equipment is wretched. It would be easier to stay in contact with two tin cans and a piece of string. I can't keep track of how often we have power outages or equipment failures these days. But I have really given you enough of my time now. I do have to work out a solution to this. This... issue. If you feel the need to talk to someone, go and try Vito. Innkeepers are known for their chatter. Yeah, good job. The threat from the north, the curse of the Alps must be eliminated. We must all choose sides in the battles to come. Make sure you choose the side that counts. Join the clerics today. them into new Yes. Is there something urgent? I have a lot to do, as you can imagine. This city does not run itself. So, please excuse me if I am short with you. This city is made up of a whole mass of confusion. Everyone looking for a new start. No one able to forget their past. They need a leader to hold things together. You're in charge here? Well, let's say that I'm the person holding all these threads together. There's no ruler here. We all work together. Everyone here wants something. Whatever you're searching for, it will only add to the list of demands we already face. And providing for the people we already have is a logistical challenge. That means to accommodate everyone, we're on strict rations, and those rations have to be earned. You should sell it all. Then everything would distribute itself. How long have you been in charge of the Dome City? I've been in office for eight years now. And it hasn't been easy. Maintaining a neutral position to the factions while fighting the Alves. By Kalan, there really are more pleasant posts they could have appointed me to. What if someone wanted to replace you? Some have tried, yet I am still here. This city was created by the great Council of Magellan. They made the clerics custodians of this place and their legacy. The great council may be long gone, but what they stood for, a unity of purpose, a future for all of Magellan together, that is something we still believe in here. So, it is our job to remain neutral. It is our job to serve all, no matter their background, however hard our residents make it for us. How are things here in the Dome City? Tense. The battles out there are always reflected in here. Tensions run high if the outlaws attack the clerics, or the clerics attack the berserkers. And there's always the fear of an Alb invasion. Those tensions drive greed, anger, and fear. There is war out there, and here your shards will be stolen from your hand if you aren't careful. It's like the world has gone crazy. Why have things become so bad? Yes, a whole host of reasons. Maybe it would help you if I tell you how things are. The Berserkers have lived more and more reclusively ever since the Pilgrim went into his retreat. The Outlaws are more organized now the Duke has taken power, and the Alb Separatists seek shelter with us to escape the powers in Zakor. 
all told very dark signs that we'd face another global catastrophe. And here we are, in the middle. Are you having a lot of trouble here in the city? Keeping the factions together is always an issue. The outlaws are always up to something, but things have gotten worse. And to cap it all, we've had a sharp rise in thefts. I believe an organized group has started operating here. Not the usual outlaws. This group seems to be outside the factions. From the little I've heard, they're more like a secret society than your regular set of theft mongers. I've offered a large bounty for any information that leads to their capture. And capture would be best. I want to find out who their connections are. If you can find out more about this secret society, I can make you rich. Is there something I can help you with? If you want to help, there is something that has to be taken care of quickly. You must have noticed that the mood is very heated here. One more issue, one wobble, and everything we've held together here will fall to pieces. One of my people has reported that the outlaws are expecting a weapons delivery. The last thing that this city needs is more weapons. And who knows who the outlaws will sell them to. I want you to intercept this delivery and bring it to me. About the outlaws' weapons delivery. You've been using informers to try and catch them? Of course. Information is key to keeping the peace. But there are always things you miss. And missing things leads to nasty surprises. And I'd rather be the one dealing those out than receiving them. Particularly when it comes to outlaws. Are you gonna show me that you are the exception? Hey, have you got a few shards for a veteran? This guy reminds me of my brother. We had to beg for a while when we ran short of shards. We would have starved if it wasn't for the little people gave to us. Give him a chance, huh? There, take this. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, I won't forget this. And since you have helped me, I'll make sure my contacts hear about it. You help me, I'll help you. Come back in a few days, yeah? I'll have something that might interest you. Hey, that was great. 